at Universal for Mardi Gras 2023. They've moved the Tribute Store to a new location. We're about to go inside and check it out. Come with us and take a look. The Tribute Store changes throughout the year. This season, we're in Mardi Gras, like I said, and it's Mardi Gras themed. So we're gonna walk through it. There's so many different rooms. Each room has a special theme to it. This year, I also mentioned it's moved to a new location. They've moved the Tribute Store over to Hollywood in Universal Studios. We're gonna walk through, check it out, see what we think. Past Tribute Stores have been HHN themed, Christmas themed, old school, Universal movie theme. So we're really excited to see how they did the Mardi Gras theme for this season. Try some treats and get some great Mardi Gras swag. So let's go do it. I feel like shopping. We're getting it. <laughs> All right, so we're going into the second room here. A little bit darker, a little bit creepier. Big fan of the theming though, so let's go check it out. The theming is so fantastic in the tribute stores. You're immersed in it, and even when you look up, there's beads hanging from the trees above you. I think you can walk through here a million times and you're gonna find something new every single time. Within the tribute stores, there are also typically a space dedicated to providing photos of you. I don't know the best way to describe it, but basically like there's a section where you get to go pay to have your photos taken, you, a friend, your dog even, and then you get to have it inscribed in the tribute store. This year, they're on bottles, which are so cool, so pretty. And once you pay for it, at the end of the season, they will send it home to you. So there's a few different people in here that we recognize, we know. When you come through the tribute store, check them out, see who you can find. Maybe post it on social media. So I have two t-shirts, I've got a lanyard, but probably the most important part of the tribute store is we have to go and pick which goodie we want. I'm ready for a treat, so let's go see what sounds best. We just left the Tribute Store. It is fantastic. Definitely great theming, super happy with that. But, like I said, the most important part, we got some Mardi Gras treats. Now, Ben selected the brownie. There's a couple brownie options. This is the one he picked. And not that I'm a big fan, but I got chocolate covered bacon. Because when when in Rome, let's try the chocolate covered bacon. So we're gonna try these out and tell you what we think. The tribute store normally has just options, varieties of all types of treats. There was cakes, there were whoopie pies, there were macarons, there were cookie dough bites. It is just treat after treat after treat. Let's dive on in. Okay, that's not gonna work. We're gonna dive right in. There's a lot of chocolate on this and it, it sticks right on. So it's not gonna be, <laughs> it's not gonna be attractive. That's so much chocolate. That might be the most chocolatey brownie I've ever ever tried in my life. I'm not mad about it, but man, do they need to serve a glass of milk with that. Now, uh, for some bacon, a little sweet and salty. I don't know about this. I don't hate it. I don't love that. That is very sweet and salty, like I said. Heavy bacon flavor. 
I don't know if I like the mix of bacon and chocolate, but if you're into that, you're gonna love this piece of bacon. I think it was $7.50 though, so I don't know if it's worth it. You can make your own at home for quite a bit less, but I look forward to Ben having a bite of this. I think I want I want to hear what he has to say. After Ob's recommendation, I don't know if uh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. It's bacon and chocolate. I tend to like soggy bacon anyway, but the combination of bacon and chocolate, I don't think is my thing. And for $7.50, I think it's, I think you're better off spending your money somewhere else. It's not one I, I recommend. And now let's try the brownie. That's a lot of chocolate. It's a good brownie. The brownie itself is a bit overpowered by the chocolate that's over the outside. I think I would prefer just a less chocolate and more brownie. But of the two treats, I definitely pick the brownie over the over the bacon. All in all, solid treats. We just had our treats, wrapped up the tribute store. We're kind of hopping around, avoiding the rain right now. So we're, <laughs> we're over by animal actors, but talk about the tribute store really enjoy the new location i love the the spacing of it yes prior tribute stores had different rooms in it but this one just felt more open but still as far as the theming goes it was very immersive it, they did a great job again universal hats off to you really really enjoyed the mardi gras theming for the tribute store this year the treats were all right not necessarily up our alley for the chocolate covered bacon the brownie was good, it was just a lot of chocolate. I've got a shirt, Ben's got a shirt. We have a new lanyard also that I'm excited to wear tomorrow and I'm excited for the Mardi Gras season. Don't forget to tell us what you thought of the Tribute Store in the comments. We'd love to hear which room you like best. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, as well as in the description, check out the link to our other Tribute Store videos. See ya, bye.